Alec, who cares? We All flipped right. a coin. Yeah, the coin. The coin was for Troy Avenue and J. Cole. Yeah, we did. I mean, you want to flip a coin for Drake and yes. Audio Push? You oh. got a coin? Fuck it, dog. It's at number five, so fuck you. All right, dog. Can, can, we, can we restart it? Here we you Fine, fine, you get it, motherfucker, fine. Audio Push is number five. Thank you. You fucking asshole. Piece of shit. <laughs> fucking bitch dick face over here. <laughs> Hey, what's up, y'all? Man, bootlegkev.com. I'm Bootleg Kev. This WPHX. is WPHX. He is a mailman of sorts. So I work that mail all day. He works that mail. So when an album leaks early, it's because I got it first. He violated I federal, found that shit federal in the law mail. and uh, took the album. No, no, no. I'm really trying to keep my job. He's really paranoid about that <laughs> shit. Anyway, yo, uh, it is time to uh, count down the last five albums of the year, all right? This is our countdown. Fuck what you think. If you got your own fucking countdown, make your own fucking YouTube video, okay? Make sure to check out part one yeah. in the link below. The link right here. Is it right here? I don't know. Over here? Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. It's somewhere on the screen right now. So, album number five. All right? Audio Push. Come as you are, ladies and gentlemen. An incredible body of work, and it's free. They ain't on that dance shit no more, so get that out of your head. Yeah, they haven't been on that shit for a very long time. Shout out to Audio Push. Go get that on Dap Piff Live Mixtapes. If y'all don't know who Audio Push is yet, if you're watching this video and you're kind of still hit to them or trying to, you might have heard of them. They roll with Hit Boy. HS87 is Hit Boy's label. They're the uh, marquee artists on it, along with Kay Roosevelt. Uh, Kent Money's a mm -hmm. part of the crew. Uh, who else? Fucking, they got a slew of ill ass producers. So shout out to HS87. Come as you are, front to back, crazy. I would probably even put it higher. We had a little bit of a disagreement because he likes Drake a lot. I just think the album's better, man. So Drake's next, but anyway, yo, if you uh, if you get the uh, audio push album, check out Shine, which is the big single. They have that on YouTube. Their videos getting a lot of hits, getting a lot of love on the radio. My personal favorite track, Turn Down. Turn it's down. the Turn Down anthem. Yes, just chill the fuck out, get smoke home, smoke some weed, drink a little bit, dab, and pass out while listening to fucking Turn Down. Uh, Tis the season with Joey Badass. Uh, there's just so many great, great, great records on T.I. track. Theme crazy. song. With T.I. theme song is crazy. Uh, Brown Bag is fucking crazy. The intro with the Nirvana sound. Come album. As You Are, yeah. The whole the whole tape. You will not be disappointed if you go get that Audio Push mixtape. And if you are a little skeptic about it, because Audio Push, some people know them for, for jerking, like back in like 07, 08. Not each other off, but jerking to dance. <laughs> I'm just saying. Make it clear. I mean, you know, I don't know. 2014. I don't know what kind of YouTube video this is. Dudes jerk off each other off in 2014. I mean, not us. Oh, listen, yeah. let's just let's just cut it there. Anyway, so uh, off the jerking off subject. Go fuck with audio. <laughs> Very tight. <laughs> Come as you are. Now it's time for album number four. Drake. Nothing was the same. I had to fight for this shit. The king of the memes in 2014 yeah. is Drizzy Drake, ladies and gentlemen. I saw so many fucking Drake memes. That Dada meme was the best, though. Drake memes Hands coming down. out of my... There's a, I like the Facebook page called Things Drake Would Say. Oh, yes. Amazing. Pretty funny shit. But Drake is no joke on the mic. He's no joke mm -hmm. as an artist. Dude is dope. He's an incredible, honest artist. Um, he's three for three in the albums category. What, where would you rank this amongst? I'm going to have to go number this, two. What's number one? I'll put Take Care ahead of this. So you think this is better than Thank yeah, Me Later? Yeah, it's better than Thank Me Later. Okay. I might, I might be, uh, yeah, I can see that. I think all three of these albums are dope. So um, fuck with it. Tuscan Leather, the first song, comes out swinging on that the lyrical language shit. is crazy. Uh, yeah, Tuscan Leather is my favorite intro of the year. And uh, what else is on the album? Worst. Worst, Worst Behavior. Motherfuckers Never, never loved, loved Us. There's a ton of dope shit on the album. I'm thinking of... What's, did he have a song with Jay-Z? I feel like... Yeah, Pound Cake. Pound Cake, yeah. Crazy. I feel like Drake has a song with Jay-Z on every fucking album. Two of the three. Two of the three? Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I'm not, I'm not that well fucking... Not well versed I'm not in well Drake versed in the Drake. In the Drakeism, apparently. <laughs> That's number four. Time to get to the top three. The top three albums. 2014, according to me and him. Not according to you. If you have a fucking opinion, I'd love to see your little fuckery comments below. All right? Because I know we're going to get a little bit of heat for the top three. Maybe. It is what it is. Man. Number three. Chance the Rapper. Acid, Acid Rap. Rap. Yeah. Chance is a dope artist who kind of kind of came out of nowhere to a lot of yeah. people this year. Shout out to Izzo. I know a lot of people that listen to it just based off yeah. the album art. 
right? It's crazy. Crazy artwork. Artists, let that be a lesson. Like, I always tell people. Be appealing. Do something different. Yeah, I always tell people, if you're going to put out a mixtape, the artwork has to be fire. Because I'd be, sometimes I'll listen to shit. If I get past the CD in the streets and the artwork is tied, I'll check it out. If it sucks, I'll just throw it away. I'm not going to lie. Get off that Microsoft Paint. Come Step on. up your fucking game. Yes. Shout out to Futuristic. I love that kid, but his album artwork this year was oh, terrible. God. It's my boy, though. Anyway, hey, yo. Um, man, Chance, uh, doing his thing. He's from Chicago. If you're living under a rock, you don't know that. But um, my favorite song on the album is probably uh, Coco Butter Kiss. It's produced by my Vegas homie, Cam. So make sure you check that out. Um, nah, nah, with the uh, Action Bronson. Mm-hmm. That Gambino track, favorite song. So much heat on this acid rap. Front to back, truly a treat to listen to. Kid is dope live. He's turning a little Hollywood. Just a little bit mm-hmm. Hollywood. You know, he's on the cover the, of the source. He's a young kid. That fame mm-hmm. come quick. You know, but shout out to the whole New Chicago movement. Vic Mensa could have easily made the top ten mm-hmm. of this list. Um, but yeah, shots to Chance. Album number three of the year. Now it is time for album number fucking two. All right? This one is all him. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. It's all me? It's all you. Okay, whatever. I would I would put him in the top ten, but not this high. Guess what? That's why the site's called bootlegcat.com. <laughs> all right. Number two, Ritz, The Life and Times of Johnny Valiant. I uh, I love this album, front to back. Ritz, no, it's crazy, Ritz man. is my favorite rapper right now. And I also had a lot to do with this album. <laughs> Shout out to Lifted. I got to hook Ritz and Lifted up. For uh, two of the songs on the album. Actually, I'm sorry. Three of the songs on the album. Um, that Fuck Swag beat Bananas. Yeah, shout out to Lifted. Uh, my man, he killed that shit. Fuck Swag. Um, Ritz, if y'all don't know, he's signed with Strange Music. He came up with Yellow Wolf under Slow American. And he's... That was probably the best thing he could have done. Signed with Strange? Yeah. Definitely. Lost him. And, uh, we actually put out a song uh, together this year. John John shot the video. Shout out to our boy Photo John. Uh, Walter White Boy Flow. That lifted produced. It was actually the intro on my tape, so it's like a hundred thousand views. Oh, you put out a tape this year? Oh yeah, Empire Business. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know, something like you know what I mean. Fuck with me, all right? Hey, and by this year you mean last year? It's two thousand fourteen. But yo, go get Ritz's album. He's a white guy with a lot of red hair, so that kind of can't sc- miss him. Scares a lot of people away. Scared you away for a while. It did. You did not like Ritz based on the way he looked. Exactly. I'm sorry. I even told Ritz that. That's racist. You're it's not a thing against gingers. Nah, man, I just seen him with a big ass hair, long beard. I wasn't. What does that mean? Pop. I don't know, dog. Freeway has big fucking beard, dog. But Freeway is Freeway. Ritz is Ritz. Fuck swag. The interview, bangers on the whole album. Like I am. The joint. Mike Posner had his footprints all over that bitch. Switch lanes. Yeah, I hooked both Crazy. of them up. So shout out to Posner. Shout out to fucking Ritz. Go get that life and times of Johnny Valiant. Probably my most listened to album of the year. Number one will be mine. Number one! Now, I'd like everyone to note, this is a little disclaimer. Myself and Dub here, we are historical Kanye West dick riders. Off the charts. <laughs> There's levels to this shit, y'all. And we are on the... We on like 99. 99 on the Kanye dick riding chart. All right. So Kanye West, Yeezus, comes in about that. At number one. He's number one on most people's list. I know. It ain't the level of dick riding that put him there. But I would like everyone to know that that's why he's, I mean, he's he's on our list because it's a great album. Yes. But, I mean, really, he could have farted on the <laughs> for, for fucking 45 minutes. He, he might have been number one because I think Kanye is the greatest of all time. The greatest hip hop artist of all time. Would you concur? I do. I no mean, doubt. Comments. All your They're hate. They're gonna hate. It's gonna be full right here. It's all good. How many ways is better than whoever you think is better, right? Maybe not better at rapping, but better, better at, at everything music, else. Better at albums. Better at putting out classics. Alright, so Kanye West, Yeezus. I'm not gonna lie, upon first listen, I was a little uh, scared, man. I was like, I, 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 yeah, I, you're not the biggest fan of on site, are you? I can't stand on site. I love on site. That sets that bitch off. Uh, I don't like the intro, man. That's the only. St- track on the album I didn't like was on site it's so hype I can't listen to it in my car it's over modulated get like. better speakers in dog why so, so you I can be in debt it. like you and yeah. be depressed cause you're broke <laughs> as fuck cause you fucking got a Honda Accord for fucking 40 grand or whatever the fuck I'm okay bro be good I am good keep it chill I am chill but yo take on- shots at me I listened to on site mm-hmm. I was like I don't know the rest of the album 
clean it up for me, all right? There's just classic material on the album. Blood on the leaves, hands down my favorite joint. Of the year, probably. Yeah. Definitely. Easy. So Blood on the Leaves, there's fucking Hold My Liquor is my shit. Who would have thought? I saw the track listing, I saw Chief Keef and King Louie were the two guest MCs. That's it. No J. But shout out to Chicago, because you know he he looked out for the shy. But that scared the shit out of me. Honestly, me too. King Louie and Chief Keef. What are we supposed to think? And it's called Yeezus? I was like, God, (laughs) Kanye's narcissism has gotten the best of him now. That's part of his appeal to me though. Yeah. Well, he shit, and he knows it. Hold My Liquor was dope. Everything was dope. Bound 2 was dope. The video was a little fucking whack, but... Do you like the video? I like the video. I'm a Kim K fan. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of cool for, like... Seth yeah. Rogen joins a little better. I do like the Seth Rogen version. Who's in, who's in with him? James Franco. James Franco. Yeah. Riff Raff. Yeah. Riff Raff. Shouts to Riff Raff. <laughs> Next year, I mean, this year, Riff Raff's gonna have the album of the year, y'all. Neon Icon. We'll see about that. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. I don't think it's going to be as bad as people think. But Kanye West rounding out the top 10 of 2014 album-wise. Yeezus is number one. Shout out to everybody who uh, is tuning in to this fucking thing right now. Disclaimer, too. We never got a chance to listen to Danny Brown Old. Kind of listen past us. I, one of my favorite artists. There's a couple of... We got to give some honorable mentions, too. Yeah. Shout out to Mac Miller. Whose album was fucking crazy. crazy. It was just a crazy year. It was a lot of great music that came out this year. Uh, shout out to Yellow Wolf, who had a great mixtape. Shout out to Freddie Gibbs. Both mixtapes. Yes, Jen. Crack. Oh, yeah. Black Flag. Oh, man. Wolf had a good year. He didn't make the top 10 because he likes Childish Gambino a lot. So, you know, he's a fucking Netflix community watcher. You watch every episode of Community? Oh, yeah. yeah. See, that's why Childish Gambino was number though. 10. Nonetheless, yeah, disclaimer, we we did not, I didn't li- I didn't get a chance to listen to Danny Brown old, um, which sucks because I know it's tight, I like Danny Brown, but he probably could have been in the top 10. Anybody else that we might have not checked, like listened to that everyone was talking about? That's about the only crazy one that I see on everybody's list that I didn't get around. There you go. That is the top 10 of the year. Bootlegkev.com, 2014. Everybody have a great year. We might do another list of the most disappointing albums of the year. That'll be an easy one. Big Sean, Eminem, 2 chains. I love all y'all, but no, not a, not, a, not a good look this year, y'all. Adios. All right, man.